Now, everyone is going to experience the frequencies of this transit running through them in different ways and at different times. However, with the overwhelming abundance of individual planetary activations at this time, it becomes very important for me to get the message across to you to remember that you are a body experiencing this life from this perspective of what you think you are interpreting from the life around you through your mind. The mind inside of your head about talking about yourself has about the maturity of a five-year-old child. It thrashes, it whines, it complains, it shames, it guilts, it faults, it lies, it's an it. And so the most important gift I can give you is to remember to come back home to the body and witness what the body is ex experiencing in this now, in this form. Remember, you have a body and that body is enclosed within the aura. It is not the other way around. The aura is building the body and your aura has a frequency. When it is operating in alignment, that frequency is sweet and successful as a projector. When it is operating in alignment, that frequency is satisfied as a generator. When it is operating correctly, that frequency is peaceful as a manifester. And when the aura is operating correctly, it is surprising as a reflector. So ultimately, although this human design system can be very cerebral and take into many wonderful details and nuances and subtleties, and we can look at lines and read them all day long, ultimately we come back to what is the frequency of this vehicle, of this body, living its one precious life showing up like? When it is operating in alignment, it will feel successful, satisfied, peaceful, surprised. When the body is operating incorrectly, it will feel frustrated, angry, bitter, disappointed. Ultimately, all of us have to move through this journey alone because we don't wake up in groups. We wake up individually, one person at a time. So in honor of that, remember to come back home to your aloneness, your sovereignty of this physical form. Find your solace and comfort within the form and align to that being which is here to live its one precious life and witness that. Honor that. Don't force, don't push, don't bully. Don't shame, don't blame, don't guilt, don't fault but align to your individual truth. Hold to that truth. Your truth is internal knowing. Your truth is your own. Everyone has the potential and possibility for their own individual truth. You do not have to see things in the way that other people see them. So too, you do not have to enforce your beliefs, your ideals, your thoughts, your logic, or your own knowing on anyone else. We all have a sovereign right to take in those frequencies that align with our individual congruency, independence, and authenticity. So too do we all have a right to stop anything that is incongruent with what this body and what this vehicle is here for. Boundaries is a really important thing to grasp when you are an undefined sacral. And pushing into others' boundaries or letting your own boundaries crumble is one of the things that you're learning about in this life if you have an undefined sacral, that energy resource. So align, my friends, align to your individual sovereign self. Your strategy lights the way. Your authority opens the door. Will you walk through? Namaste.